Hi, Dala here. And today I was thinking I would show you a bit about the purchase process for getting the parts that I need for the EVNX project. And I thought this would make for a good video. So here I'm going to show you a bit about the sites that I use when I, I buy these salvage yard parts. So I'm really digging these ones that uh, compile all the different scrapyards from different countries, etc. Like this uh, Bildelsbasen.se. Uh, it combines the Swedish and the Norwegian uh, salvage yards into one. So it uh, seems to also have Denmark, but I haven't seen much leaves from there. But, but it seems to have a really good offering of parts via this page. So I'm actually in the market for a complete power plant for the EVNX so that means a leaf motor and inverter so let's check out what they have so if I go here by brand I'm gonna go with Nissan and scroll down to the leaf and I am interested only in the earlier leaves I, I don't want the the newer, newer style ones because there's really not developed any solutions yet for using the motor inverter standalone in these systems yet and this is going to be a quick project so I just need parts that work real quickly so I'm interested in the motor so I'm just gonna type here quick motor and this one is the motor electric front this category contains this and now I'm gonna show you some actually quite silly stuff let me zoom in a bit on this one so the motors here that are for sale you can, you can see that there are a few that have simply the tiny tiny EM57 motor or EM61 motor uh, just freely <laughs> detached from everything available for purchase and uh, yeah I guess that's fine uh, however you can't really use these motors uh, like standalone. They have to have the matching inverter mounted on top of them. And I've actually already taken like contact with some of these sellers and like asked if they have the matching inverter for these uh, motors. But no, no, they just replied that no, what you see is what you get. We only have this part. So this is complete garbage. Like you can't. You can't use this, you will have to code it into the matching inverter, but I'm not even sure if that is possible, I haven't looked into it. But if you are going to purchase one of these, you need the complete set, so the motor with an inverter on top of it. Let's see if we have some example of that. Uh, for some reason I'm getting the newer style ones as well, but if we just check this one out. Yeah, so this one... This, this one actually has the inverter on top, you can see it here. So this one would be viable, but this one is too new, so not interested in that. But if we scroll down um, here, now that one did not have anything, complete garbage. Here we have one, this one would be fine. This one actually has the motor, the reduction gear case, the inverter and the power distribution module, everything on top of it. So this one would be perfect to use for a swap. And uh, you can see the text here is actually says uh, booked because I've been inquiring about these ones. Uh, but I'm gonna show you the one that I am most likely gonna get since uh, it has some goodies on it that I really like. Uh, this one, as you can see, it has the Chadema port is right here on it so that instantly gives it away that this uh, PDM is the fast charging one so that is very nice uh, some other things to be on the lookout for is uh, like it's good if if these come with a lot of cables otherwise you're gonna be looking into getting the cables like separately and that is a pain to source them so yeah this one looks like a, a very good choice. So this is the one I'm trying to get and um, I might also mention that um, the there are two versions of the leaf. 
my cat is attacking me. Uh, so the ZE0 model is um, the one that are from the, these older style ones. You can use these, but uh, the software solution that I'm going for, you will see more about this in a separate video, it's not really optimized for these older ones. Uh, and there are more parts on, on these older style ones that can fail. So if you are gonna do this upgrade, like for simplicity's sake, I really recommend getting the AZE0 one instead, because yeah, this adds complexity. But I guess that's a short enough video for this. Like if, if anyone is thinking about picking up a project car, I really suggest looking into these these ones that combine a lot of salvage yards into one because otherwise you're gonna spend a lot of time calling different places so yeah it just makes sense to do it this way okay that's it dollar out